good evening Sycamoreans depending on when you're seeing this video. Uh, this is going to be um, a one-off video for the start of the new half term. Uh, there will be at least one weekly video up on the channel uh, including myself um, as well as some of the other teachers. So I've roped into some shenanigans which you will see starting next week. This video is just a little welcome back to school video. Um, it's just going to show you around the school, see what changes have been made, maybe talk about some of the things that are going to be going on at school. Um, for those coming back to school, our year R's, our ones and our sixes, as well as our key worker children. Some of you will be new key worker children. And for those of you who are still at home, as most of you Sycamoreans, you'll just get to see what the school looks like at the moment. Let's go! Alright! So to start off with, you will notice uh, we've got some little dots laid out in the playground. Uh, these are obviously to help us with our social distancing in the morning. Um, as you all know by now, those who are coming into school are doing a staggered uh, entry. So that means not everybody is coming to school at the same time. Some people are coming to school at quarter to nine, and some people are coming to school at nine o'clock. Just so we can make sure that we are observing our social distancing as much as possible. Over on the playground. Um, if everybody was going out and using the trim trail, we wouldn't be able to keep it clean. So in order to help us prevent any germs, any viruses being spread, we have cordoned it off. So no one's going to be using that for the foreseeable future until our guidance is changed. Fantastic moose. Alright, moving on, let's make our way into the school. Dun, 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 dun. I hope you can hear all the little birds singing, they're very popular. At the moment, oh crap, just got the lights crow. Yeah, ever since the lockdown we've had a lot of um, birds flying in and around the site making lots of singing noises for us. There's a blackbird in particular that loves to come and perch in the tree. Um, I've got some footage which I'll splice in for you so you can see. You can get really close to the tree. Cool. Oh look! into the hall. So this is a little bit changed from what you saw in that last video when I did a little walk around. Um, it's still being used by key workers, but most of the time the key workers are going to be in U class. So at the moment, the hall is sort of serving uh, double purpose. So it's sort of, we've got some storage going on here where we've taken tables and chairs out of other classrooms to make space so that we can do distancing in the classroom. Um, and we've also, I've got a couple of tables set up here for a small group of key workers to work um, during the day or during the week, depending on who is in and when. Because, obviously, um, the different key workers will have different um, home learning packs to complete. So I decided it might not be very conducive to a good learning environment for all of us trying to work on different things all in one classroom, especially when lots of them have got lots of lovely interactive videos to listen to to help us with our learning. So yeah, that's the hall. So nobody's going to really be coming in here at all, apart from um, some of those key worker children. Wood, and going through to the photocopy room, we have to take the long way around now and we have to walk all the way through the hall and go around so that we're not traipsing all the way through the office all the time, putting, um, you know, making it really difficult for Mrs. Wyatt and uh, Mrs. Chadwick to do their work. So that's why we've got the stable door down and we'll have to, if we need to speak to anybody in the office, we've got to just talk to them from here. Nice social distance, that's about two meters for them. Mm -hmm. Also, we've changed the little office on the side. That's now no longer a kind of just an office, but it's serving as a kind of medical room for any medical things that need to be dealt with. So as you can see, we've stocked it up with some gloves, we've got plasters, we've got little sick bowls, we've got everything you might ever need if you were feeling a bit unwell, and that's what that's there for. It's pretty cool in here, actually. It's really warm outside. Nice cool off in here. So yeah, we've been really busy over the half term and today, getting all the tables and the chairs arranged. We're trying to work out how we can get that distancing to work, um, because obviously we want to make sure everyone's safe at school. 
So this is Willow class, which is going to be um, part. Uh, it's going to be hosting some of the year sixes. So as you can see, we've got the distances between the tables, and then every person uh, in this classroom. Book. They've got their own pencil case with their own things and their little sticky pack ready to go for tomorrow morning. So everyone's got their own things they don't have to share with anybody. And that way we can reduce contacts between people, help keep us safe and healthy whilst the coronavirus is still something to worry about. Ah, here's the cloakroom. So as you can see, we've made some uh, clever decisions here to put the smart sacks. We removed all the smart sacks because they're made of fabric, so that was part of our advice. And we couldn't have any kind of soft furnishings or soft fabrics around. This is the orchard. So this is for the other year six group. Um, and it's a very similar setup. So they've got all their things. They've got a book. They've got all of their books that they might need. Uh, pencil cases. Uh, you can see how we've been very careful with our social distancing. We've even got on the floor here. Um, we've got some tape going around, so there's a bit of distancing as well for the teacher going on. Oh, it's, it's funny. They look really. I mean, it does look really strange, doesn't it? It looks a little um, like an exam. It reminds me of the exam halls. You know, everyone was spaced out and had to go through their papers at university, or even in GCSEs. Or even for some of you, when we do our little tests at school, I suppose it's similar, isn't it, where we do sometimes do desk spacing. Yeah, it looks very... I think it's the smart sacks not being there. It makes the chairs look very... Um, I don't know what the word is. They just look strange, because I'm used to them being laden down with all of our things. All right, making our way down. So, um, you, the year sixes who are going to be in Willow and the Orchard are going to be using the outdoor classroom area. Hmm. Are going to be using the outdoor classroom area as part of their playground, something to play in and recreationally, because really the staff don't really park here anymore. Uh, because we tend to park out on the road or park around the corner, so we've got this nice space to play in. And they can also play in this space here, so they can use the lovely outdoor classroom, which we haven't been able to use for weeks or months because of the bad weather, but hey-ho, it's all lovely now. Hello, Sycamore World. We'll go in there in a second. So yeah, they can use this space, and we're going to have, um, as much as possible, we're trying to get different classes in different areas to play in. So you've got um, the Year 6 bubbles are going to be around here um, and we're going to use the field when we can the key workers are going to be mostly on the key stage 2 playground and then your year ones are going to be in the key stage 1 playground pretty much and the year R's are in a separate part so they won't be together let's head back in So down here, we're going to make our way down to the best classroom, obviously, which is Sycamore classroom. We've got a couple of tables set up out here. Those are for lunches, so we're going to try and... So lunches aren't going to be in the hall. Um, we haven't got any cooked dinners, but we have got a um, very lovely and scrumptious range of kind of picnic lunches, like we sometimes do in the summer anyway, um, which Cook is making up for us. And we'll be eating them inside, maybe outside, as long as we're away from the other bubbles. Um, so clearly Mrs. Aitken has been thinking there might be some year sixes come down here to have their lunch. Sycamore classroom all set up. Got some spare chairs in the back. At the moment, at least for tomorrow, um, Sycamore class isn't being used, but it is there as a kind of overflow, overspill. If we get more children coming in, then we might need to um, put some of them in here because we can't have more than 15 children in the class because the spacing doesn't work. Um, so at the moment, Sycamore is just looking beautiful, looking ready. The carpets have been cleaned. Everything's been kind of tidied and dusted and made ready for whoever needs to be in there, whoever needs to use it. I've got 
few smart sacks up at the top, look. They're all safe in here and no one's getting up there but me. And I've even moved the wet play stuff up the top there. And we've got lovely decorations on the computer there. Don't know where they came from. Okay, moving along. So as we can see, there's the library. Nobody's going to be using the library, obviously, because we don't want to be uh, touching all of the same books, because there's no way we could clean every book after someone had touched it to have a look at it. That just wouldn't be feasible, wouldn't work. So it's a kind of blocked off area. Um, and we've just made sure that there are plenty of books in classrooms for us to read when we need to. Um, but it's a handy bit of storage, because we don't really have a lot of storage space for tables and things, because obviously, usually, we're using all the tables. Into beach class, Miss Priest and Miss Surtees have done a sterling job at setting everything out. They've got all their books ready as well. They've even got little pots for everybody's pencils so they can use all of their different bits and pieces without needing to share. It's all very nice and spiffy. And Miss Priest and Miss Surtees were very pleased with their new display, which has got Sid the Seagull, I think. Lovely beachside theme. Mm -hmm. And they're doing a bit on Grace Darling as well, that should be interesting. I'm sure some of you remember doing that, because I'm sure you told me about Grace Darling when we have way, way, way back when we first came together as Sycamore class. Yeah. So beach, uh, beach class will be using their own toilets, they're quite lucky, they've got their own sets of toilets. Um, and Ash class got their own sets of toilets. And in here is Ash class. They've got some things set up. Mrs Keating has been very, very busy. She's had, most of us have had a fairly, in comparison, easy job where we've just had to move the tables and kind of figure out uh, where the spacing is, making sure that we are uh, not putting people too close to one another or they're not facing each other as much as possible. So that was, you know, a moving furniture job. But Mrs Keating, as you can see from all the X's, has been burying treasure. No, that's not right. Um, no, instead, she's had to put little crosses down so that all the children have a place to sit on the carpet, because obviously in Ash class, they don't sit at a table, do they? You only sometimes sit at the table to do a bit of writing or a bit of maths work. So instead, they do a lot of carpet work. So she's had to put lots of crosses down and do herself a little teacher safety zone box to make sure. Then there's little signs you can see. Stop, don't touch the board, so they won't be touching any of the board. They won't be sat on the teacher's chair at all, they won't be touching the books on the top, and they won't be uh, touching anything in the worship table. Yeah, very clear uh, instructions, I feel like. Oh, we've even got our first aid kit look ready, just in case. Fantastic. Right, and here, finally, it's you class, this is the last class, and this is where I'm mostly gonna be with Mrs. Greg and Miss Sharp. A little swing around tour there. And yeah, we've set everything up. We've got our clipboards ready in case we can work outside. We've got special books ready so that everyone's got a book which is appropriate for them. We've set up all the chairs. Every chair's got its own little name label. We've done little wallets. So everyone's got their own wallet with all their bits and pieces in that they might need. And because our children will change from day to day, depending on who needs to be in and who doesn't need to be in, we kind of have to reset things from day to day. But yeah, that's it really. That's what we've been doing. That's what we have been trying to set up for you guys, make it nice and safe. And I think we've done a pretty good job. But yeah. Now the only other major change is of course the home learning pack, which has changed a fair bit from what it was as the daily challenge um, before half term. So I'll talk to you a little bit about that. But in order to do that, we are going to virtually and magically jump ourselves into the computer. Okay, so here is our home learning pack. You should have had um, a copy through by now, by the time this video comes out. So you've all had time. Um, to have a browse through and read through, and you can see that there are lots of different uh, activities that have been included because of the different format that we're now using. And I thought I'd talk a little bit more about that, um, focusing in really on 
what we're expecting and what you can be doing at home. Okay, so this is our kind of table of activities. This is a summary of all the things that you'll be doing during the week. Uh, you can see we've got our key skills, we've got our maths tasks, our literacy and our topic based tasks. So this is one of the bigger changes. So previously before um, the half term, our daily challenges were focused on a single subject per day. But now you have, you've got a range of different challenges um, for each day. Um, and I think uh, that's quite a big, big change. And it can look a little bit scary, a little bit intimidating because we've upped the volume of the challenges that you are being asked to complete. There is more to do than before. However, even that said, um, there is still room for you to manoeuvre and tailor the learning that you do and the activities that you do to suit you at home and how things work for you in your house. So, although each day, so, uh, so the table kind of specifies that you complete those four challenges per day, but you can take some flexibility with that might want to um, maybe you want to do what we call blocking and you might want to just say well today or for these two days or for today we're just going to focus just on the science bits and we're going to have a science day and do all of that in one go you might decide to do that with the english you might decide to do that with maths i would probably recommend i'm not sure you'd be able to do the english all in one day although it depends really but you might want to split it over two days uh, maths you could probably all do in, in one day if you wanted to do it that way and the handwriting that's just intended as a quick kind of half hour every morning to get you started and there's going to be a little video to go with that come up on the YouTube channel so have fun with the new packs I think uh, I think it's an interesting change and I think it's quite uh, helpful for you guys as well to have everything at the beginning of the week so you can have a sift through and uh, kind of play with what you want to do a bit more freedom than before and hopefully in a couple of weeks we're all back together again anyway have a wonderful week and i hope to hear from you in an email all right take care bye bye